Crash Across America. Jason Talley is a crasher in chief of Bureaucrash.com. It's an activist network for liberty. I'm sure everybody here in this in this audience has either heard of Bureaucrash.com or owns at least three of their t-shirts or product. And you know what we're gonna do tonight? Do you know what we're gonna do tonight? What's that, Peter? What are we gonna do tonight? I think we're gonna increase the stuff that goes into your closet. I think that's gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal hero, none other than Jason, Crasher in Chief, Tally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, tonight is not about me, and it's hard to follow Mark Emery, so I'm not going to. Um, we are going to uh, give out t-shirts, but you have to deserve them. Uh, what, what we want to find out from everybody in the audience is, what have you done to further liberty? So uh, if you could tell us your story, you may be able to earn a bureaucrat t-shirt based on the amount of applause you get. So who is our first brave volunteer? Who can tell us what they have done to further liberty? J Jason, Jason, can, can I be first? Peter, you have the stage. This right here. All right, come on, give a t-shirt. This right here. This is what I do. Actually, it's not just me. I don't want to take all the credit. There's a whole pile of people. We might run out of shirts. Oh, then, uh, then, then, Peter, they should have said something about Liberty Summer Seminar, but uh, you said it first, so you I get a t-shirt. I said it first. All right. Yeah. Well, my name is Chris Goodwin. I used to own a shop in Hamilton called the Oven Smoke Cafe. Uh, I basically practiced open civil disobedience. Oh. Basically, the kind of stuff Mark did. He went around the country saying open pot cafes, uh, retail revolution, and that's exactly what I did. And we were we, we were open for two years. Uh, uh, over three hundred fifty thousand in sales. They spent seventy five thousand in activism, trying to get full page ads, rallies, protests, marches, conferences, forums, uh, drug peace events. And uh, I, at the end of it all, I ended up getting sentenced to six months in prison, and I spent four and a half months in jail uh, in Maplehurst okay, and Barton. Yeah, sure. so, um, I'm also a political science student at McMaster University, and uh, I've dedicated my life to politics and activism. So. He gets one. Um, I've been involved in bureaucrash basically since day one. Thank you, Gretel. And um, lots, of, lots of crashes we've done together. But I think the thing I'm most proud of in terms of political activism is teaching libertarians how to talk about libertarianism and not argue, but get active. And I think that's about the best thing but I can specifically. say. But specifically? Specifically, specifically. Um, in, in not having formal debates in, in, in terms of a lot of what uh, people were talking about today up here. Um, <coughs> getting out and doing things, not just debating one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we, we all appreciate the libertarian arguments. A lot of people just don't seem to get them, though. So there's better ways if you can get, encourage people to get out and do stuff about specific issues that they care about and people understand. We want to hear results. You want to hear results? Like, like political nonviolence? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can talk about political nonviolence. I put together a website called like Political Nonviolence to, light 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 light. to help people uh, write letters to the editor. Mm -hmm. I'd write a sample letter and I do research on each of the light subjects me, and. and uh, and people could use those as samples to write their own letters to the editor. They could do it right from the web page and just print click and it would go to all their newspapers in their area. Um, I also put up a website. It was an anti-union website at my college because when I went to grad school, I was forced to pay union dues and I didn't like that one bit. Uh, so that very night, I went home and didn't do my homework and put together a website. Thank you. And, uh, and, and encourage people to sign a letter that was sent every other week, every payday, to the board of the school uh, and also to Congress, um, asking them to, to let us stop paying union dues if we wanted to, or at least have it not go to political causes, which at the time it still did. So. Uh, the last election, I was campaign manager for uh, someone who's similar to Mark Emery, only about oh, almost 40 years older there. <laughs> <laughs> Big believer in uh, anti help Mark uh, legalize the Sunday shopping and uh, help him with. Uh, he's always been a big pot activist. As um, Ray Monteith, I uh, helped deliver over 3,000 flyers out there for Freedom Party, and I run the uh, constituency association for them, and I'll be active in the next election. Okay. I, I'm Earl Worth. I'm, I'm running as a candidate for the Libertarian Party of Canada the last uh, three, four, five elections. So, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, well. That's it. Uh, all right.
I ran for a slate on student government to advocate freeing students from Canadian Federation of Students at Oak Park. I was on the budget committee, I was on the board of directors of the student council right. fighting against the CFS. We uh, were, when we were on the board, we had a referendum, which of course was shut down, but uh, we did our best to take down the CFS and taking students' money to fund left-wing causes without their consent. There's a bunch of people and I organized a campaign against uh, Oberg at Waterloo, Ooh, so yeah! we were yeah! instrumental in the first time in a number of views actually getting on the ballot, but it was eventually shut down because of lots of bullshit. But we do things like, you no know, people are playing at the arcades, run out of quarters. Oh, you know what? You can get 475. Just go up to this office over here and, you know, got people talk about the issue and then also drove That's people awesome. out to seminars like this, phrase into the fence, things like that. Seminars. Uh, and, and. This is seventh year already for Liberty Summer Seminar, and I raised this. <laughs> <laughs>